Hi everybody, I'm Andres from Off Grid Sweden. I'm a homestead homie, and you are watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. All right, love the intros, guys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. We got a lot of them, but we're going to work through them and we're just going to keep taking them and, you know, we're going to be posting videos. Keep sending them in because we love them. So They're keep great. sending them in. So um, today, Stacey has been wanting to talk about this. So today we're going to talk about the death box in your house. Yes, we are. So that's your television. But we're not talking about your television. We're going to talk about something else that's a box and it is called the microwave oven. Wow. I wanted to do this video for a really long time. Because, you know, everyone is on this path of health and wellness, you know, trying to get the toxins out of your life. And this is one area a lot of people kind of are clueless about and really don't have any idea. Because the microwave oven is fairly new. It's only really been in the mainstream for like 30, 35 years where a lot of people started having them in their homes. And, you know... The research really, I mean, there is a lot of research to show that they're not the best for you. But it's just like, you know, way back when they said Agent Orange was good for you, right? Yeah, so, I mean, you guys, how duped are we? I mean, they come out with something and they plainly call it a microwave. And then they put it in everyone's house. People are falling over themselves to buy it. So they don't have to spend an extra 10 minutes using the stove top or an oven. So we're going to talk about some of the problems with the microwaves. Then we're going to probably give you guys some solutions, some things you can do at your house. And in case you missed the live show yesterday, this is Brutus. He's doing really, really good. He has just a very small little um, thing on his neck right now. It's almost gone again. It opened back up. I explained that to you guys before. Um, but it's healing back up now. And then once it closes this time, it'll be closed for good. But we let him kind of sneak in and enjoy himself. It's been so windy. He doesn't even want to be outside. He's back here behind the stove. Yeah, it's been so windy and so rainy the last couple days. And today, I mean, we have straight winds, probably 60, 70 miles an hour. It's 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 really something. So. His hat, he went outside, and his hat fits on his head pretty good. And I mean, oh, I, blue, I, had, I was chasing it to the yeah. neighbor's house. So we're, we just decided we'll just do a quick video inside today. Usually on Fridays, though, I think we're going to try to do health videos. Is that right? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're going to try it. Yeah, so we'll be talking about different topics um, about your health. So today we're going to talk about the microwave. So without... Go. go okay, so we're talking about a microwave. It's, it's, it's just basically non-ionizing radiation. And it basically changes the molecular structure, the DNA. It changes. So and if you look at non-ionizing radiation, it's sort of like... You know, when you go and you get an x-ray or go and, you know, the doctor for nuclear medicine or you get a mammogram. Or you go to the airport. I mean, it's something, I mean, it's the same principle. And then you're putting your food in a box like this that it's doing things to it. Um, so a, a quick tip too, if you guys go to the airport and you travel, always opt out of the x-rays. Always just go for the pat down. But what I kind of wanted to talk about real quick is there was there's a pretty known study. It's by Dr. Hans Hertle. I like to say his name, Hans Hertle. He did a study and ch testing and finding out the changes that a uh, microwave oven will do to foods put in there into when people ingest them and put them in their body. So what he found in, in the study was basically that your HDL or your good cholesterol went down found that your red blood cell count went down and your blood, red blood cells are what you need. They carry oxygen through your body. And without the oxygen, you know, you really can't live very well. And then also your white blood cells went down. And the white cells basically are little guys that swim around and eat the germs to help you from getting sick. So those are three huge areas that they, they did find. Um, there's also been a lot more studies here and there that show that the nutritional value is definitely going to be um, decreased by anywhere, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent. I saw a study about broccoli and it said once you put it in there for a very short time, I mean, you've lost like 95 percent of the nutritional value. So, you know, we want to eat as much nutrient dense food as we can, you know, and no matter, you know, you hear all these naysayers saying that, um, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Well, you know, error on the side of caution. I mean, 
why do you want something like this? You know, if you're going to put, especially if you're going to put plastic in there and cook with plastic, people use plastic and then they say, oh no, I'm using not, you know, BPA free. Who knows? You don't know what that stuff does because anytime you heat up anything plasticky, it leaches into whatever it, it, it is. And then you talk about people are putting your baby bottles in the microwave to heat up or for formula. your baby. Yeah. yeah, the formula. I mean, come on. You know, what is wrong with using a convection oven or a toaster oven? You know, or if you want to cook. Top. Yeah, it really doesn't take that much time. I mean, you can put a teapot on the water. My teapot water heats up very quick, um, almost as quick as a microwave. You know, and then with a the microwave, your water can get really, really hot because boiling point's like 212, isn't that right? 212 Fahrenheit. So, you know, I want to get as mo much bang for the buck of my food. I want all my nutrients. I don't want to leach any chemicals that cause endocrine disruptors, which is going to mess with my hormones. I don't want any of the possible, like, little radiation molecules coming out. You know, some people stick their face in front of the microwave oven. You know, I don't want that. You know, if you don't know... You know, why even have it in your house? And there's people that have it in their house that may not even use it, but, you know, who knows? I would just get it out of your house. We need to band together, and you need to get your microwaves out of your house. Get We're going to have a driving. microwave burning party yeah. in uh, everyone's hometown. You know, they used to... That's right. They used like to a book burn party. their bras. We're going to burn microwaves. Burn bras, burn books, burn the microwave. Yeah. Even if it's in your house, don't use it. You know, just you can leave it there plugged in, use it for a clock or whatever. No, or take it out. We're just, just get suggesting it out and don't use it. Yeah, or get a convection oven. Try, there's so many other ways to cook. Steaming, we talked about in the live stream, you know, putting a little water, steaming it, baking it. I mean, all these different, lots of other ways to do it. Sometimes convenience isn't always the best for our health. And then you look at things that you put in the microwave to heat, you know, like you have microwave dinners and all that. They're processed foods, they're in plastic. I mean, it you just guys. goes on and on and on. So, you know, one thing, if you wanted to start changing your health, get rid of your microwave. You guys, it's the same thing we always talk about. Why go through all the trouble growing that food and then, you know, trying to buy organic food and then you come to your house and then you throw it on uh, Teflon coated pots and pans uh, or you're using a plastic spatula, heating that up while you're tossing your food around and then or you're throwing it in the microwave so all we're trying to do is if you guys are serious about eating your food and getting the most bang for the buck and getting the most nutrition out of your food that's going to heal your body and take care of you, then you have to get better at preparing your food and, and you know, spending a, a few extra minutes doing it on the stove top, a convection and oven. And it really isn't that much it's more. I mean, I, I, I don't understand because I know a lot of people will go ahead and heat their coffee or their tea. You know, it's so easy. You just get a teapot and they, it goes quick. So. It does. So we want you guys to really let us know. Comment below if you are going to ban the microwave, <laughs> throw it out of your house. They are Just not good. Just comment below too. If you are using a microwave now, or if you were using one and you stopped using it, we want to read the comments down below on on those two things. And guys, too, a lot of times um, in this eye right here, there's an eye right here. Um, I I leave. Um, like surveys, right? So like actually in this, I'm gonna leave a survey right here. So hover your mouse over the eye right here and then you can answer the survey. But always check our videos because sometimes I forget to mention them, mention, mention them in the videos and then I put them up there and then only a few people find them. So always check that um, eye in the corner because I could have a survey in there and a lot of times it'll be like about the video that we have and then it's like a yes or no or a couple other questions. So always check that. Sometimes I forget um, to do that. I did that the other day and I totally forgot to set, tell you guys. And then, uh, you know, only a few people actually found it. So up there in this corner is always going to be other videos that we're talking about, links to them, or um, a survey. So always just kind of check that at the end of the video. Hover your mouse around there and check it out and answer the questions so we can get a tally on what y'all be doing. That's right. And ban those microwaves. All right, so you guys have a good weekend. See you guys um, on Sunday. Hope you guys have a good weekend. This is Off Good with Doug and Stacy. Don't forget. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget about being a Homestead Homie of the month. Yeah, we have the Homestead Homie of the like, month. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you can. Let everybody know about getting rid of their microwave. This would be a great video to share because, you know, we got to get the word out.
I mean, we have, we're like human guinea pigs here. You know, we need to live as healthy as we can and get rid of our microwave. I need to get a bumper sticker. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.